All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. <gasps> okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in the camp? Oh, freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys, taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> If we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Tommy, you just drove Come me into this. We're we'll bringing him in. 10 4. Hey, you just went through a red light. Yeah, we heard Alberto and that asshole Luca were taking guys into their family for a fee, but we had no idea they were charging that much. Uh, they're gonna have to answer for this, and soon. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Because, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching down. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlo's a real smart guy. He's into, uh, oh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? No. Yeah, let's go. Uh, hey, yeah. get up, hey, Joe! Hey, I'm going home. Good night, you whores! Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it! Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all of us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. 
More pussy, less poos. <laughs> So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> oh, what the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, no, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. What's the figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> you got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ, Eddie! Yeah, that fucking reeks! Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell, plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself. Alright, we're here. Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> God damn it, new shoes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking Christ almighty! How long this guy been in here, ready? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, that's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Oh. 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 Ah. Boo! Hey, mother... Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Ah, 
finally done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help oh, here. Fine, whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be da, part da, of your homecoming da, da, party, but it's night, nice out here, sweetheart. ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Me with this. Oh, my God, poor Dino. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up! 
I shut up, you whore. Come on. Look you had enough, Eddie. You're going to bed. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Sorry, Joey. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Speedo, come on down! Jesus Christ. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, very in a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, everything between then and now, Watch not so much. Going. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cutter to take. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. I seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry. i done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later.
morning, mister. Adios. You want me to take a look at that? Leave now. Oh. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Copy that. Now. now we take care of our customers. These guys here buy in bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. There it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a carton of blues. One carton of blues, Vito. All right. Hand it over. Here it is. Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues, as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. You hear that, Vito? Let's go. Caught in the whites. Yeah, that's the one. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here.
go with a kid, Mark. He works for Eddie, too. <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me. Drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster, though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, the kid's got you for a whole model. He's in for a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, wise guy? He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit in your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? Tell you, it's going like butter today. All right, this almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, the next few hours or anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's <laughs> the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second.
Hey, a cotton of blues, if you please. Give me a cotton of blues. All right, hand it over. Here it is. Hi, I'll take a box of reds. Cotton of reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf. And it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Joe! Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now? Oh, what do I gotta say? That's what I gotta say. Come on! Hop in that car and let's go! Let's get one of these fucks and teach him a lesson. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. Check in with Ed. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call him. Hi, Janet. Wow, that sure is a swell dress you have on. Wherever did you get it? Why, Holton's department stores, of course. I should have guessed. I was just headed there myself. I really need a new outfit for my big date with Johnny Saturday night. Drive like Don't my worry. fucking grandma, you Holton's know that? Nah, it wasn't that bad. You could imagine. It was than a broad. And at a great price, too. Oh, that's all I need to hear. Holton's, here I come. Holton's department store. Let's get one of these fucks and teach them a lesson. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. Check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth to call. Me. In pursuit of a hit and run driver. Roger that.
vision to red lights? It's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. Uh, we were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greasers came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though, so it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of that crazy horse. Good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All too grand of it. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kind of Caucasian man carrying a large firearm. Roger that. Some guy here just assaulted an officer. Ten four. Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick two thousand dollars worth of shit out of him. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Take your fucking foot off the accelerator! Take it easy, I'm in a rush.
Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Artie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here, then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What Shut you up, the kid. I'm talking here. So, like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And, well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Enough! Let's leave him a little present. Beat him, Mark. I got some knowledge on the other ones in the trunk. Go get him and throw him in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. What are you waiting for? Grab the bottle and chuck it in. It ain't that hard. <laughs> That'll teach him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we go to the foundry. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. Come on, do you mind?
We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Copy that. Suspect is about six foot tall. Average size. Ten four. Officer down. Officer down. Shoot this asshole. Roger that. Suspect is about six feet tall. Dark hair. Medium build. Ten four. How'd you get in here? Followed the fucking yellow brick road. Next. <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! They got guns! Cover me! Let's go! Oh, shit. Hey, everything all right over there? That asshole shot me! Let's go! Hurry up and kill it! Oh, that's the best we got! Next bullet's got your name on it! Go! I'll come you!
right, Vito. Here we go. Go, go, go. I got you covered. Get your head Cover me, asshole.
Cover me, Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie'll be fine. What are we gonna do, just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody, no more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joy, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the fountain. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar.
Don't be a dumbass. Do you mind? Theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Copy that. Freeze! You can overlook this small problem, can't you? All right. I'll get out of here before I change my mind. How can I help you? The 
license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Thanks a lot. Guns and ammunition. When you are faced with the unfortunate situation of an intruder in your home, the best chance for protecting your loved one is by having a handgun. Looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? Do you mind? <gasps> I got more bullets than you do, boy. I get her on. Where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek will give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar.
dispatch. We are in pursuit of a suspect. Don't move. Suspect is about six. Copy that. In pursuit of bombs. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna... Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar. Pursuit of a hit and run driver. Ten four. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar.
Do you mind? Can I help you? Oh. Excuse me. How can I help you? Bring it by any time.
Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Roger that. So? Is the money. Well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cat. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. Arrivederci.
What's your deal? Sergeant D'Amato speaking. I need we to got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Payment as usual. Roger that. All right, all right, you got it. Have somebody drop the cash off later. Dispatch, we are in pursuit of a suspect. Copy Please. that. We can work this out, you know, without the paperwork. All right, I'll get out of here before I change my mind.
Hello? Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right, I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday. Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police. Open up! We just want to ask you some questions. Hey, fellas, what's going on? If you don't this open doesn't the door, concern you, pal. It Beat it. You. So open up. This is the police. This is your last warning. Open the goddamn door. Open up, police. Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police. Open up. We just want to ask you some questions. He's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Roger that. Pursuit of a hit and run driver. Copy that. Hey, nice day, huh? See ya! Looking to fill up, boss? Full tank, please. Be done in a jiffy. I'm just doing this part-time. What I really want to do is act. You know, like, on radio. Who wouldn't want to be a voice actor? Come on. Anything else I can do for you? Thank you. Goodbye. Nice morning, ain't it, sir? Hey, pal, do you mind?
Get out of my face. Morning, mister. What's your deal? You want me? Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me in a rotten jail. That's good. Because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. I see you again soon, huh? This is Luca's car. Now where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. I shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me.
losing him. I gotta step on him. He's getting away. I'm losing him. Can't lose him now. I gotta get closer. I gotta step on him. He's getting away. Where are you going, Luca? Riverside. Junkyard, maybe. Nah, Mike doesn't get involved in shit like this. Clemente's slaughterhouse, of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. Gotta get in there without being seen. So he's coming. The one steal. It's mine. I will drink it. I can't let anybody see me until I find out what happened to our guys. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, can I help you? You know how to get into the slaughterhouse over here? And uh what would you be looking for in there? Yeah, my dog ran in there. I'm trying to find them. Your dog, huh? Yeah. You know how to get inside or what? First of all, let me tell you something. You are a terrible liar. And so... Yeah. It's all connected, I know. I saw, I told, but they laughed and scorned and cursed. Maybe that's the way in. Looks like I can pry this off. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Dog could be a problem. Ah, fuck. Ah. Oh, if Luke could just stop by to pick up some steaks, I'm going to kill somebody.
is this? Would you shut up? What, is somebody there? There's nobody there, see? Well, shut up before we turn you into meatloaf. Nosey mutt. Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. Shit. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Hey, what you want? Kill him, you idiots! Myself. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before, pal. Falcone guys. No shit. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Hey, don't spend all day out here, huh? I don't want to do this by myself. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before, pal. Said screaming. Me, One of them pigs must have squealed. So, uh, nah, you still thinking no about pig. quitting? It sounded like. Good yeah, shit probably next is. month. That was a pig. Just ignore it. And what are you gonna yeah, do then? You know around here. I was thinking of maybe. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before, pal. So, uh, you still thinking about quitting? Hey, what was it? Screaming? Yeah, probably no. next month. One of them pigs must have squealed. What? No, nah, that what was What are you no gonna pig. do then? That sounded like... I was thinking of maybe, is. you know... That was a Becoming pig. a voice actor. Just ignore it. Yeah, but... Are you kidding me? You know Who the hell would hire you? Shut the fuck up and get back to work, or that ain't gonna be the only pig that's squealing. Okay, okay.
you two. Shift's over. What do you mean, shift's over? You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Hey, don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. Be right there! That's too bad. Me, I was gonna take Kelly out. Hey, I thought your wife's name was Marie. It is. Kelly's at a... Think I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get it into the States? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> it's, it's just a question of whether I'm gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> Hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh! Hey! Hey, somebody's Drop over him. there! Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what, what, is Captain Shitbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone said. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> I sure can't take a beating, huh? This is gonna be a messy one. Come on, break his fucking neck, Sammy. I sure can't take a beating, huh? This is gonna be a messy one. Come on, Sammy, not so gentle! Guys, assholes. Uh, get me down, will ya? Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Eddie send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. 
Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? Let's get that little fuck. Little cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? Did he send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Assholes. Uh, get me down, will ya? Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Eddie send you? I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Suck is gonna piss his pants. What's going on? They dead yet? Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? A lot of guys, but a lot of guards are already on their way over. Shit, it's too late. Here they come.
nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, knock. Come on, let me in. I ain't gonna be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy, like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart.
this guy. Oh. She's built like a fucking brick shit house, right? She's going down on him, and he's going, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus Christ! Was that you? Vito? Oh Jesus! Why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead. But balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh, interrogating him when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so whoa, of Luca's whoa. bodyguards we ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. 